Hello and welcome to Mythic Monday where we take a look at Mythic Plus through the eyes of healers. This week we're going to be looking at the changing healing meta with some buffs and nerfs coming in on Tuesday. We're going to be looking at the dungeon difficulty, next week's affixes, and then this week's random thought. How will we spend these last four weeks leading up into Season 2 and what are the upcoming affixes, what are the push weeks? So let's get right into it. Let's start with the healing meta as it is now with the current balance patch in place and then go over some of the changes and how that might affect things. As always, keep in mind that this is the sub-creation tier list representing key levels 22 to 28. So for most of the week, Shaman has actually been on S tier by itself and then on Easter Sunday, I guess it took a little break and fell back into the front of the A tier. Still, Shaman is extremely strong right now with gigantic healing throughput as well as damage. And as I've been working on my new Shaman up through the ranks week after week, it's been pretty obvious to me that the spec might be just a little overtuned in the healing and damage department. It's also got an obscene amount of kicks and stops with Wind Shear, Thunderstorm, and Capacitor Totem, as well as massive damage coming from Acid Rain. In its current iteration, Shaman is a monster, in my opinion, hands down the best Mythic Plus healer at the moment. Resto Druid coming in second should also surprise pretty much no one, as it has also awesome throughput, good damage, Damage, utility and survivability in Mythic Plus and it has all season long. I've been having a ton of fun on my Druid lately and while it might not be quite as over the top as Shaman at the moment, I think Druid is incredibly strong and safe pick for any Mythic Plus healer. For the first time all season, Disc Priest has overtaken Preservation Evoker and moved into the third spot on the sub-creation tier list. Pretty awesome to see as Disc Priest is a ton of fun, but it does lack one thing the other three A tier specs have a lot of and that's utility, at least in the CC and defensive form, but we can't discount PI in the ever useful mass dispel. And Preservation Evoker has fallen off considerably since the 10.0.7 nerfs and was actually sitting B tier for most of the week. I think some of this might be a little bit of overreaction by the WoW community to the nerfs, but you can't question the fact that this spec has fallen off a good amount and no longer sits atop the healer heap all by itself. Good news coming in a sec though for Preservation Mains. Paladin sits B tier all by itself in a pretty similar spot that it's been for a good deal of the season and our usual also rands of Miss Weaver and Holy Priest continue to hang out in the C tier and wait for 10.1 to happen. So this isn't entirely new information if you've been following the healing meta in 10.0.7, but what is interesting is the incoming buffs and nerfs coming this Tuesday. These aren't gigantic changes, but they are significant because they give us an idea of where Blizzard is at regarding the different specs. We've seen that Blizzard has been doing small week-to-week -week buffs and nerfs, so it wouldn't be out of line to expect that some of the specs being touched up this week may have more buffs or nerfs coming their way shortly, and it kind of gives us an idea of which specs are trending in which direction. So in the blue post, Blizzard acknowledges that Shaman is a little overtuned for all content and gives them a 5.5% healing nerf overall, which probably won't hurt them too badly. And if you're a Shaman main, I'd recommend being content if that's all that happens with the spec, especially keeping their current damage intact. It's pretty hard to deny that Shaman didn't need a little tuning down, so we'll have to see next week how this nerf feels in game. So here's one that's piqued my interest quite a bit, Disc Priest. Blizz seems concerned with Disc's mana usage. Not a huge deal in Mythic Plus since the popularity of the Squid build, but still nice. Also interestingly here, Holy Nova's getting buffed for both specs by 30%. For Disc, this isn't completely insignificant, as Holy Nova is something you might spam a bit toward the end of a pull, as you hold some of your other spells to ramp at the beginning of the next pull, and could be a bit of a boost for Holy Priest as well. Also for Disc, Power Word Shield is getting a flat 25% buff. Shield represents a pretty big amount of your throughput over the course of a dungeon, so I'm excited to see how this change plays out. Good news for disc players. So again in the blue post, Blizzard acknowledges that they have maybe went a little heavy handed with the nerfs toward Preservation Evoker, and to kind of revert that, all healing is being increased by 3%, Living Flames healing is being increased by 15%, and my favorite, Resonating Sphere now applies Echo to the first five allies it passes through up from four, which is going to feel great in Mythic Plus. Now we can Temporal Anomaly our whole party. So the healing buff here is really nice. I think the Living Flame healing is going to be a little bit unfortunate because most of the Living Flame healing you're going to do is likely from your current four set, which will, of course, go away at the beginning of 10.1. But it's nice to see that Evoker is back on Blizzard's map of maybe getting hit a little bit too hard, and it'll be fun to see how these changes feel when we get back into Evoker next week. Also, in relevant healing news, the true S-tier healer, Prot Paladin, has had their healing nerfed. 
Hand of the Protector now increases Word of Glory's healing by up to 100% when cast on allies down from 250%. So hopefully now we can stop pretending like most of the WoW public can do a 4 DPS run. I'm really enjoying Blizzard's constant surveillance on balance its expansion. I think the frequent mini changes are a good way to keep the game balanced without doing massive overreactions that take forever to correct. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this all plays out on Tuesday. So dungeon difficulty pretty much is what it is at this point in time, guys. Jade Serpent has established itself as the hardest high key on Fortified Weeks, and I know that particularly bolstering Fortified in that place is an absolute nightmare. And apparently the pain I've suffered on stream lately trying to find a pug group that can actually pull off a whelp skip is unique to me as AV has surged up the dungeon tier list as recently up into the B tier when previously this season was one of the hardest dungeons to time. Next week's affixes are Tyrannical, Spiteful, Quaking, and Thundering. Not too bad of a push week so long as your group can minimize the impact of the Spiteful affix. CCs, stuns, knockbacks, vortexes, whatever you got to help you not waste time sitting there killing these things is a good idea. And of course, don't let them touch you. I'm not sure people realize how damaging it is on your dungeon timer when you stand still beating up a pack of Spitefuls. Blizzard has really cut down on the way that the quaking affix interacts with stacking mechanics in Dragonflight, which is a welcome change as it severely lessens the danger this affix can pose. Just make sure you've got some way of tracking when possible quakes are coming through so you can play accordingly and don't get caught channeling your tranquility or whatever the moment a quaking goes out. I'll leave a week or to help you with that in the description below. Finally, my random thought of the week. The end of season one is coming. If you got a particular goal you want to achieve, you got four weeks of Mythic Plus to attain it. We already went over this week's affixes, but let's check out the final three. We'll have Fortified Bursting Explosive, Tyrannical Bolstering Volcanic, and Fortified Raging Quaking. From a healer's standpoint, Bursting Explosive is pretty bad, but aside from that, these other weeks are pretty decent push weeks if you're looking to squeeze out some rating in the final weeks of season one. You might want to start to get a little strategic about when you're going to plan on doing your biggest keys, which combo of affixes you're most comfortable with because the finish line is finally in sight. I'm always interested to know what people's goals are, so drop your season one mythic plus goals in the comments below. So what do you think guys? How are you feeling about these incoming buffs and nerfs on Tuesday? Do you like the frequent balance changes? You wish Blizzard would leave things alone for a little bit? Are you excited about the direction your spec is going, whether positive or negative? Let me know in the comments guys. I always like to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, it helps me out a lot if you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more of my content in the future. Check out my stream right here on YouTube. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 9 p.m. Pacific. We heal keys on all kinds of healers. We have a lot of fun. I'd love to see you there sometime. Until next time, guys, happy healing.